Hi, I'm Steven and I like to make cardboard costumes and props. Today I'm making dragon eggs from Game of Thrones. As always, I included a link to the free template in the description of this video. Just make sure you have a stack of empty cereal boxes in case you want to make them. But yeah, let's get to it! I cut the big pieces off of the template and then taped them onto some cereal boxes, making sure that all the little ends were taped down. Using scissors, I cut out all of the inside lines first before snipping off the ends. It kind of looks like a flower, doesn't it? Each of the little flower petals were pushed together and taped on the inside. And if you're following along, I taped it on the inside, but you can totally tape on the outside too. Taping on the inside was just easier for me. I pushed and pulled and taped until I got half an egg. And then I repeated the same thing for the other side before taping both halves together. And ta-da, an egg is born. For the scales, you're gonna have to cut out a huge amount from cereal boxes, um, a huge amount. The easiest way is just to tape them down and cut them out. There's really no other way to it. Um, this took a lot of scales, a lot, a lot, a lot of scales, especially since I made all three eggs. If you're just gonna do one egg, uh, it'll take a lot less. But I turned on a movie, I got comfortable, and that's just what I had to do. Um, I don't remember how many cereal boxes it took, but probably around a box and a half per egg, maybe two. Um, I don't think it took uh, more than that for each egg. Anyway, with all those scales cut out, it's time to glue them down. What you're seeing on screen is not even close to the amount of scales that I had to cut down, so feel free to leave a like because it took a long time. With all those scales cut out, it's time to glue them down. The good thing about the dragon eggs from Game of Thrones is that the bottom of the eggs do not have scales, which is amazing because um, that's a lot less work and it saves a lot of time. I took my hot glue gun and glued down the scales um, in an alternating pattern, leaving about an inch of the bottom exposed. And an alternating pattern is similar to just how a brick um, wall is laid. So you'll have two bricks and then the brick and the row above it will be above the seam of those two bricks. I hope that makes sense. Just a tip if you're following along, the more scales that you put on, um, which just means if you leave smaller gaps between each row, the more rounded the entire egg will look. You'll see the difference um, between the eggs in a second. One will be a little bit more pointy and then the other one will be a little bit more rounded. But yeah, I glued and glued and glued until the egg was covered, brushed off all of those annoying hot glue strings, and it's time to add some texture to the eggs. Adding texture is super simple. I just took some joint compound and smeared it all over the egg. Once the joint compound was dry, I covered it in white glue just to add a little bit more strength so the joint compound wouldn't crumble. After I did this and after the glue dried, I realized I probably could have just glued on a layer of tissue paper or napkins in order to add some texture, um, some paper towels, something like that. So if you want to make these eggs, feel free to do that. It'll probably save you some time and you won't need to get joint compound. Once all of that was dry, it was time to move on to paint. The paint job is pretty straightforward and these are the two main things you need to know. Keep it messy, but cover everything. The red egg got a base coat in black and yellow, then red mixed with copper and more yellow and more black, etc, etc. I let each layer dry in between and added a little here and a little there until I was happy with it. The white egg was painted in a few layers of white and tan craft paint until it kind of merged into this kind of creamy off-white color at the end just to give some life back into the white egg because it was kind of looking flat. I dry brushed it with a little bit of pure white um, to bring up the highlights and then once that dried I dry brushed it again with a little bit of gold. The shimmer in the gold doesn't make it look gold, it just makes the white look less flat and kind of like the off-white color is was intentional. It's maybe not as noticeable on camera but in person it makes a huge difference. Then for the green egg, um, the green egg just started off with a coat of black and yellow. I let that dry and then added on layers of green, dark green, and yellow over it. For the dark green, I just mixed green with some black. I even mixed in a tiny bit of paint from the red egg into the screen, just to help tie the color scheme together. The little bit of copper and red 
tones down the green just enough so it looks more real and just gives it another layer of color and depth. But yeah, it's already time for the glamour shots. There you have it, the dragon eggs from Game of Thrones made out of cereal box cardboard. Fun fact, I actually filmed most of this video before Easter, but I cut a chunk out of my finger when I was chopping vegetables to make borscht, so I didn't get to finish the paint job until about a month later. Um, that's probably too much information for you guys, but yeah. I really love these eggs, they look pretty legit, and I'm really hoping that somehow, some way, they'll actually hatch real dragons and we can go on adventures that would be pretty cool anyway if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe it means a lot to me i'll catch you guys on the next one Bye bye <laughs>